Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kiara and today I decided to do this video about how to grow your social media, in particular Instagram because I feel like I'm more familiar with Instagram. So I managed to grow to an extra 100,000 people in a space of 3-4 weeks. So that is absolutely insane. So today I'm going to be showing you what I've basically done and all my tips and tricks that will help you boost your following and uh, your engagement with people. My first piece of advice is to pick a niche. That means you have to pick a topic that you want to constantly talk about. So it could be, for example, fitness, as in my case, I always talk about fitness and I specialize in booty building because I feel like I have a lot of knowledge on that, fe on that field and I've studied for many years about this and I've managed to transform myself and other people as well. Um, or you could do fashion, you could do video games, you could do photography, you could do anything you really want. What you don't want to do is to start a page and talking a bit about fitness, a bit about, like you don't want to mix too many things all together because people will get confused. You want to give everything you know and share all your knowledge, that's why you want to do something that you're really passionate about that you really know a lot about. Obviously I tend to study and learn every day about my, my topic, my industry which is fitness, but if I was to do so many things, fashion and um, fitness and all these things, I would get confused because you really want to concentrate and put 100% in one topic and one thing that you feel like you know best. Um, I have a little, um, by the way, I have a little notepad here while I wrote all my points. Once you pick a niche, you want to post consistently. So I'll give you an example. So last year, when I first started my Instagram page, I used to post only twice a week. Um, and I was noticing that my Instagram stagnated. So it basically wasn't growing at all. Um, I was trying to like still look my best, wear my fanciest outfits, whatever, but I still used to post twice a week and my Instagram wasn't growing. Um, but then I've been posting every day for, for the past three months, I would say, and the last month that I've done this, my Instagram grew from, it basically grew to an extra 100k. So what I'm saying is, that I know that you hear this quite a lot and um, people always say you need to post consistently, post every day and you might think, oh really, I don't really post, you need to post every day but honestly, it did make a difference on my account so when I used to post just twice a week and now I almost post every day my account literally skyrocketed um, and grew so much as well, you want to think about the type of content um, I'm not saying you need to be super fancy, that is not the case anymore. I think a lot of people think, oh, in order to post on Instagram, you see a lot of models and a lot of people posting and using professional photographers or stuff like that and being super fancy. You don't have to do that. I don't have any photographer. I, obviously, I have a camera now, but when I started my Instagram, I started with my phone and to be honest, the majority of my pictures as well I post. Some of them are even taken with my iPhone, really, so you don't really need any fancy equipment, you don't need any photographers. Obviously, if you want to do that, that's good for you, but Instagram is not about that anymore. It used to be uh, fancy, about like all being, oh my god, look at me, I look like a model, like a red carpet kind of style, but it's not like this anymore. And I can, and I think now Instagram shifted more towards a more real uh, representation of your life and showing the real you, the real personality and really you because you want to connect with other people so it's more about creating connections with your real audience rather than just showing this fancy lifestyle that you have. Um, so um, be real, uh, post what you do um, and post valuable content. What do I mean by valuable content? See, ever since I started my Instagram, I always spent so much time on writing long, massive captions to inform people and to share all my knowledge with them. I didn't, I didn't do it initially just because I wanted to grow on Instagram, but because I, when I originally started my Instagram, I genuinely wanted to help people and I still want to help people and I'll still put so much information about everything I know, all my, obviously my 
my industry's fitness, writing down everything I know about that particular exercise and giving out all my tips and tricks for free to other people. And that's how you provide value to other people. So um, if you don't want to do that, um, you want to still give out something else to people. Some of the things that you could do is basically is mainly entertain people, maybe make them laugh. People want to see the real you. You don't have to be so obsessed about. Obviously, if you want to if you have your camera there, if you have a photographer, if you have the funds to do that, that is absolutely great, do that. But I just want you to know that if you don't maybe have the same uh, fortune as other people, if you don't have the same money as other people, like I don't feel like I had the money at the time when I started to pay for professional photographers. So I just started with my own phone and that is absolutely fine. Instagram, I don't think Instagram prefers people that I don't think Instagram is just the world for rich people that want to show their perfect life, their model lifestyles. Obviously, if you've got that, that is great. If you could do that, keep doing that. That is perfectly fine. But I don't want you to feel like you can't participate and you can't join this Instagram community if you haven't got the funds. Like, I never, I only started buying a camera, and it's not even amazing, by the way, that this camera is a Canon M50, it's such a cheap camera. Obviously, as you grow, then you can obviously invest in more equipment and just get better with time. But to start, honestly, do not be afraid. Um, just because you're waiting on that perfect camera and the perfect life and that perfect moment, you, you need to just start and just do it. Another important thing is engage with um, your audience. The last month I've been leaving comments on all the fitness, obviously on all the fitness or other fitness accounts, leaving a meaningful comment and then they'll comment back on my post. So leaving that sort of engagement, honestly it sounds so cliche but it does make a difference. Also replying to or replying, I always tend to reply um, to my comments or at least as many as I can, possibly can. And um, I always tend to reply to my DMs, um, obviously as many as I possibly can, as physically can, because sometimes there are too many. But you do want to use the platform. So Instagram will pick up on those things like you interacting with other people because the more you, you show Instagram that you're using their features such as even posting stories and using their Instagram IGTV or the features that they've got you're showing Instagram that you're active on the platform and that will obviously boost your profile because you're doing so many things um, also another top tip that I will give that that's really really helped me so much um, is switching my profile from personal to business or whatever it is so that you can have a look at the insights. The reason why I'm telling you this is because from the insights you can have a look at how many people are following you obviously well you can see it anywhere but you can see the gender, um, the age, the country where they're following you and um, you can see what time um, what time specifically your audience is most active on Instagram. So what do you want to do on this? You want to go um, to the insights, check uh, the activity and then have a look at when your um, your fo followers are the most active. And, and they'll literally, get, Instagram will literally give you the hours from, for example, five till six. There is like the majority of your people are active and that is when you want to post and do your posts because you will have more engagement. So obviously if there is a majority of people that are active at a specific time, uh, they'll be more engaged and they'll just see your post more, more people will see your post, they'll leave more likes, they'll comment and that will boost the algorithm, obviously. So you do want to post consistently um, at a certain time according to your audience. And I literally just post myself smiling in front of a mirror and then obviously I'll leave a meaningful caption as well, just trying to give out everything I know about fitness and sharing everything I know about my workouts and sharing what I do really. And that can really help people. You want to take your, uh, safety, your safety of your account seriously. 
because there might be a lot of, a bit of hackers around so you want to make sure you turn on your two-factor authentication because it has happened to me in the past someone tried to hack me but since I have done this no one has bothered me ever again so you want to do you want to go to security to your settings on Instagram and go to privacy or security I think one of these two and activate your two-factor authentication make sure you obviously do that that is actually one of the first things you should be doing um, before growing your page I, I highly recommend doing that another trick you want to have a look at because if you switch to business profile you can have a look at the insights and the level of engagement for every single post that you post <laughs> on every finger every single post that you post so um, you can go I'll just show you how it works but basically you can just go in every underneath your image, your post, you can view the insights and you can see how many impressions that post got, how many followers that post, sing, that single post got. And you want to study your feed, study all your different posts and you want to have a look at which one is performing best. And then what you want to do is post as many of those posts as possible. What do I mean is, for example, what I would do is literally go all the time onto my page and I'll see and I'll check the insights of every single post because I, did, I do different types of things. That's another thing, test different types of posts. Do not do the same thing all over again, especially if, you, if you've if you noticed that this, your Instagram is not really growing, you need to change strategy and maybe test out different types of things. For example, I would do some transformation pictures. I would do some new selfies as well. I would do some workout videos. I would test out different things and then I would just analyze which ones between them work the best. So if you're doing exactly the same thing, for, if you've been doing this exactly the same uh, thing for years and maybe you're noticing that your Instagram hasn't really changed that much, maybe think about switching it out a little bit and just testing different things because um, some things might work better than other and you just do want to pay attention to those things. Another thing that I would do to boost your engagement with other accounts, what you want to do and what I used to do as well is just go on the search um, on the search bar of your Instagram and just go to the hashtag bit and just type some hashtags that are relevant to your niche. So in my case, um, it will be fitness or gym or glutes because that's what my niche, niche is really and um, so I'll just search that and I'll just obviously all the people inter using the hashtag will come up then on the feed and once you want and what you want to do is just leave a meaningful comment and that way you will engage and they will just see oh who is this profile that just commented on my picture it's been really nice so they'll click on your post some of the people will follow you obviously they'll boost your engagement as well that honestly that really helps i used to do this for a full like i i usually do this for a few good hours of my day during my day i just do that so what you want to do is interact as much as possible with your niche within with the people within your niche and engage as much as much as possible that is a very good obviously it's, it's quite time consuming but you need to be serious about your business if you're, if you're serious about growing your instagram and your business you need to put in the work there is no shortcut you want to put the effort in the work in and just really deliver that valuable content to people depends what your niche is really but for example let's say you're good at fashion or makeup okay so you want to post a video or a picture of you with your makeup and then you want to like give out some tips maybe how to how to i don't know well, I'm not really like a good <laughs> makeup person, but you could give out tips on how to keep your skin clear on different types of skins. Um, there is a oily skins, there is a dry skin. Give out everything you know. You want to share everything you know with people, and that way they will just spend time reading out your posts and they will get value out of it. They'll like, they'll comment, and they'll also recommend you to other people. That's how you grow. You need to share what you know, share your knowledge, share your passion. I feel like we're so lucky nowadays to be able to share what we're really passionate about and what we really know. And I'm so grateful to be able to help so many women with what I know and transform literally so many girls. I'm so proud of being able to do that. And I can only do that through social media because we can access to the possibilities that you have nowadays. 
they're literally incredible. You can connect with people from all over the world. Obviously, they'd say that you don't want to be all too crazy about the content you post, but at the same time, um, you don't want to post, like, for example, things like that's common sense, like dark pictures. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to be too fancy, like, you don't need any special equipment or a, photog a professional photographer, but at the end of the day, you want to post something that is kind of aesthetically pleasing so uh, for example make sure if you want to post um, a selfie or of yourself smiling or anything like that make sure there's good lighting com good lighting coming in you don't want to post a dark picture <laughs> and there are some good apps for example if you if sometimes I use a lot of uh, good apps they can help you edit the light um, for free um, and I'll share them with you and um, one is called Lightroom and it's completely free I just do it on my phone and it just helps you so much with changing the exposure of your set and picture so if the picture is too dark so, yeah definitely make sure you put a little bit of an effort and yeah test out you you will know more and the best what works um, what works with your audience. As I said, if you can switch your profile to that thing, you can just have a look at every single post. And if you see that that post is not really performing that well, then just try out, don't be scared to try out different things, honestly. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please not forget to like and subscribe. Let me know as well in the comments what you would like me to talk about, because I always feel like I was in the same, the same thing. But yeah, I wanna post obviously something that you guys are interested in. Um, but yeah i really hope this video has helped you if you have any more questions feel free to ask in the comments down below and i will do the best to reply uh, but yeah thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you next week